Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Today's menu is T3G's with an order of fries. So Mr. 3G is a little upset because I ended up subscribing to somebody that he subscribed to uh, upon a video that was put out by the person that he subscribed to um, doing somewhat of a interview on T3G's, which obviously T3G's had no idea what he was talking about during this interview. So a buddy of mine told me to go over by T3G's Twitter account and check out some of the stupid and funny shit that's been going on on his account, which is always kind of interesting to see all of the heart emojis and, and emojis with faces with hearts in its eyes, basically kind of directed to women in general. Uh, it used to be male and female, now it's just only women, uh, which is not a big deal. I mean, his, his sexual preferences of what he likes is what he likes, not a big deal. But now he seems to be kind of hiding it a little bit because he was uh, called out on things. Now, so checking it out, and since I subscribed to somebody that he subscribed to, uh, I noticed that there was a, another post to the YouTube gods. And he ended up posting, you know, this on his Twitter account, basically crying to the YouTube gods again and, uh, you know, wanting them to do something about it. So if you ever end up going to T3G's Twitter account and notice you see a lot of words like wowza or wowee or, you know, childish words like that uh, directed towards women. Also, uh, smiley face emojis with hearts in its eyes or blushing or, you know, it's like this person has never seen a woman before. So when you end up kind of like scoping out things, and of course, you know, you see this one that says Wowza, and you click on it, and of course, it's a woman. Go figure. I swear, you know, he has no socializing uh, skills at all as far as uh, being around people. And it's quite amusing to see a grown man act this way. So you'll see a lot of hugs to women, you'll see a lot of goofy uh, smiley faces and stuff, any place where there is money that is being given away or any type of a contest, uh, you know, he's on top of it right away. Um, again, here is another heart shape eyes and you look and it's, it's another woman. You know, it's just like his YouTube account. Nobody really cares. Nobody really responds to him. You don't see no hearts and love or anybody giving him any feedback. Again, there's some more. Uh, there's one on here that is really, really funny. And I'm going to get to fast forward to that right now. So one woman basically kind of posted up there, you know, who's in this certain area of, you know, Canada. And Terry ended up jumping on that saying, you know, how far he was away. And the girl responded in wow. So he ended up questioning the wow. Like if this person is showing interest in him. So here is an interesting little post. Uh, somebody asked, you know, how big is your house? You know, pretty legit question. Too bad Terry lied about his house large house backyard you know uh, I've seen his house before and anybody who knows his full name can basically look up his location uh, on Google it's no secret uh, his house is not even probably not even 800 square feet including the basement so it's not a large house so good one Usually a large house has more than one bedroom inside of it. You know, usually a large, good-sized house would have like three bedrooms in it, two and a half baths, you know, something like that with a basement. Not just one bedroom. Uh, you have a single-person dwelling, you know. So, yeah. Good one, Terry. So what brings us here now, this whole purpose of this video? Well, one little comment. Now, T3 
T3G's wasn't being very positive. And for him to kind of like, this comment puts him back to where he used to be uh, on YouTube, and we all who have been there know it. So I subscribed to a channel that he was already subscribed to, therefore I am now stalking him. Uh, the person's channel that I subscribed to has some pretty good content on there. He's not a, a not a bad channel, not a bad guy. And, uh, you know, I kind of, like, filled him in on some of the T3G uh, mishaps as far as, you know, refinishing guitars that were in this guy's uh, interview with T3Gs. So, this person ended up putting up a video saying that he received a custom Les Paul guitar, his first custom guitar. So I, I watched the video, of course. Me being a big Les Paul fan, I ended up, uh, you know, of course, I'm going to watch it. And it was a pretty nice guitar, a nice Les Paul. Uh, there was a Facebook link in the comment, or not the comment, but the description area. So I wanted to see what this guy uh, that built this guitar, what he's doing and stuff, and how he does it. And the guy's a fantastic painter, all right, as far as airbrushing and stuff goes, fantastic. But the guitars that he's using, uh, as far as building and putting his own logo on them, are kick guitars. And the SK that was in the neck pocket was the big giveaway because uh, I've also purchased the same kits and put them together myself. And the comment was basically from T3G's is that uh, looks awesome. The colored top and natural back, smiley face. Uh, and done by a real guitar builder not someone who claims to be just saying. Now, number one, um, Terry is not a guitar builder and his videos of what he has put out shows it. Uh, doesn't know what he's doing, how he's doing it. He doesn't have the right tools to do the job as well, which has been shown in some of his videos as well. So for him to sit there and say who is a real guitar builder and who is not, well, that is really uh, not really up to him or his choice to really say. Now, I've been building guitars for about eight years now or better, and I haven't done anything as far as building my own body yet or neck, uh, but I am collecting and have collected the tools to do so. But I have built a lot of kick guitars and customized basically each one of them. So none of them were basically a solid kit that basically stained paint or whatever. Um, each one of them was a one-of-a-kind custom. And I've also sold them. I've given them away. I've sold them. And uh, uh, I have other people that are sending me their guitars to either be restored, repaired, or modified. So, yeah, for him to sit there and say, real guitar builder. Hmm. That's funny. So I was thinking about this a little bit, and you know what? I should challenge Terry 3G's in a, say, a kick guitar build off. Keep it simple. But the problem with this is, is that I would probably have to buy him a kick guitar because of. My bills aren't exactly great at the moment. I'm still behind on some stuff, but you know what? I need a treat. And I need a little bit of a break and a reward. So, to all you folks out there that do enjoy trading cards and opening trading cards, you guessed it. I actually decided to uh, spend a little bit of coin in a little bit, yeah, around a hundred dollars. Probably not a good thing, and I could have used that towards other things. So yeah, Terry, that really isn't a good idea to spend a hundred dollars on trading cards when your bills are not paid. 
Um, and remember, you have an Amazon credit that uh, is about a thousand dollars that needs to be paid back as well. Um, so yeah, that wasn't a very bright idea to spend money on something you really don't need. Uh, and a treat is basically a bowl of ice cream. So yeah. For me to do a challenge like this, I would have to personally buy the kick guitar and send it to him because if I gave him the money, he'd probably use it to pay bills. And also, uh, if I sent him a kick guitar, it would be a kick guitar where he has to measure scale length, measure location for the uh, bridge, and mount the bridge. There wouldn't be no holes already pre-cut for the bridge. Um, I'd say that maybe the cutout for the neck would be there, but there wouldn't be any holes drilled for the neck. So I wouldn't make it that easy for him to do it. But then again, you know, look who we're talking about. And it ain't gonna happen. So good luck, have fun, enjoy, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.